Hello. Welcome to another video on Organization Blocks in TI Portal. In this video, we will discuss about Startup OB or OB100. After turning on the CPU, it executes a startup program before starting to execute the cyclic user program. During startup mode, the output modules are disabled. The process image is initialized and process image is not updated. The non-retentive bit memories, timers and counters are initialized. And then startup OBs are executed. For every system that we want to automate, we must define the initial state. For example, position of a servo motor in a robotic arm, or home position of cylinders etc. so that machines start in the safe condition. Imagine a process in which position or value is dependent on two inputs. If input 1 is present, then position or output should be 10,000. If input 2 is present, the position or output should be 15,000.
As you can see, when input 1 is active, positioner is set at 10,000. When input 2 is active, positioner is set at 15,000. But when CPU put in stop mode and then again in run mode, positioner set value is 0. Startup OB is a great place to initialize registers and data blocks, setting control bits and resetting past alarms, reset control flags, initialize loop variables, read machine configuration. You can program your machine to be at the defined state at the startup to execute the program correctly. By suitably programming OBs, you can specify certain initialization variables for your cyclic programming. You can set up one or more startup OBs in your program or none at all. If, several startup OBs are available, they are called in the order of their OB number. The lowest OB number is called first. The operating system calls each startup OB once at the transition of PLC from stop to run. Startup OB will run top to bottom when PLC boots and will never run again until the next boot. Whenever CPU mode has changed, startup OBs are run, and positioner value is set to the value defined in OB100. Thanks for watching the video. We will talk about other OBs in the upcoming videos. Subscribe for more updates.